Hey there friends, Jeff Fritz here, and I want to talk to you a little bit about minimal APIs with .NET 6. Now, this is a new way that you can approach building APIs, building RESTful endpoints, web services that can be connected to by other web applications, browsers, native applications running wherever they might be that can connect out to that web server. This is a pretty cool technique that's actually evolved over a little bit of time into, into a very simple syntax and approach that you can use to grow and build applications, to build APIs without a lot of work. In this video series, we're going to take a look at how you can get started from an initial template and answer some questions around serving some static content, say from JSON or CSV format, and evolve that into using some good practices like a repository pattern, dependency injection, and even open API. The syntax that we're looking at to get started really is, is quite simple. It, it looks like this. This is what a API is defined as in our templates with C Sharp and .NET 6. So when you download this CLI, the SDK, the Software Development Kit, and the command line interface for .NET, when you execute .NET New Web, you get this. That's, that's really simple, and it gives you that Hello World experience to get started with defining your API. Now, this syntax, that map get syntax you see there on the third line, has been around for some time. Since the beginnings of ASP.NET Core, we've had the ability to map interactions with our APIs and define some sort of response or interaction that you'd like to deliver by using this map get syntax off of the app object. It's just with .NET 6, we can now put things into our applications as top level statements. We don't need to define a class or a program file that hosts it with specific syntax that is defined and required in order to handle all the things. We can get right into building our application. Now, in the next series of videos, we're going to start introducing some of those other topics that are going to help you define and build out an API using some good practices. I hope you stick around for the rest of this series in the playlist called Minimal APIs with .NET 6.